so this dog here has some open wounds. There's some pus and fluid coming out. Um, pretty likely in, in some pain with that level of, of untreated injury. We've just been so grateful to be able to be here to help. You know, there are days where this job is really hard. And there are moments like this that, you know, really bring it into perspective and make those days worth it. We are in the process of getting 4,000 amazing beagles out of a breeding facility. All of the dogs have tattoos in their ears. They'll no longer be an aggregate number of animals. They'll be individuals and they'll have families and be loved. According to the Department of Justice, this is the largest dogfighting seizure that has taken place in the state of, of South Carolina. The day that we took them off the chain, it was the last day that they're gonna have to live like that. So many people lost their homes, and so we are just providing this free service, and we just want to do our best to make sure that people stay with their animals, that they don't have to give them up just because they can't afford to feed them right now. You won't go anywhere without him, so we're really grateful that you guys are here. You're gonna make me tear up. It's a true story, though. <laughs> There was one horse in particular whose hooves were so overgrown she needed four people to help her walk out. Typically in an environment like that, the puppies wouldn't survive. They can be in a home and they can be happy and they can know what being a dog should feel like. you the most is the the emotional and the mental trauma that these animals go through but they can't express 